kuharibu uh, maji yote. Uh, kama hii ya mfano tumeona maandamano ya maji moyo shimo wewe ulinda kusema kwamba ni maandamano ya maji. Bisha kwamba yeye anapoyataja kuwa ni maandamano ya maji kwa kweli hayakuwa maandamano ya amani. Tumeona uh, maji yakeza kuharibiwa. Tumeona barabara zikizo kuchoma. Tumeona watu wakipoteza maisha yao. Bisha kwamba Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga anasema si wale ambao wanafanya maandamano ya ukweli ambao wanaharibu mali hai. Wanajaribu kusema kwamba ni serikali ambayo inajaribu kutumia vijana vibaya na kuweza kuwalipa kuharibu mali. Hii ionekane kwamba ni upinzani unaongoza mambo hayo. Sawa, na nimekusikia kwa muda mrefu sana. Unazungumza vema na unazungumza vizuri. Mengi umeyazungumza lakini tunayo video ambayo Mheshimiwa Rais eh na mtu yeye eh, kutazama tuone mheshimiwa rais mwenyewe anapozungumza na eh, uh, akiwa maeneo fulani uh, akizungumza na wananchi eh, juu ya masuala haya ya, ma, ya ofisi lakini pia vitu kama hivyo kwa maana ya kuzungumzia kwa kizazi yeye amesema hao watu wote wanaofanya ma, uh, maandamano na wanaofanya hizi shughuli za ghasia hawana ofisi <laughs> eh? <laughs> Ni mazungumzo ya rais wa Thank you thank you very much mheshimiwa Moses Moses amekuwa wakili wangu wa siku nyingi sana na amenishindia kesi nyingi sana na akiniangalia hanioni mimi kama mzee Anaona vile alivyokuwa ananiona zamani nikimtafuta yeye akiwa kijana mdogo hata wakati alipotoka katika law school e, sisi ndio watu wa kwanza kufungua file na yeye Na rais welcome to western na you are deputy you are able deputy Na mheshimiwa msali Hamdavadi Moses yuko hapa na mawaziri wako wote na timu yako yote na governors. Na mia will be very brief. Because yale ningeliongea mengine mboko miremba ameshika kidogo inayohusu pande wa wafanyakazi. Mengine governor wa Busia Dr. Tuoma amesema. Na mimi nataka kumshukuru the leader of majority kijana Ichungwa ndio amefanya nifike hapa kwa time kwa ajili niliingia usubuhi kutoka Misri ama Egypt nimekuwa German for one week na pia nikawa Egypt for one week na your excellence mambo ya uchumi sio mchezo hata fadhali sisi kidogo fanyikazi wakisikia nikisema hivi watanimaliza lakini kule Egypt haswa Cairo watu wako na shida kubwa sana hasa wafanyikazi nilikuwa nafungua conference kubwa ya wafanyikazi kama mnenaji wa pesa sinajaa ukienda pale walipokuwa wanaita samani Brodrick Falls huko Webuye kwa wadogo ufuate hiyo nzoia mpaka Lake Victoria mtu afunge huko governor wa Siaya governor wa Kakamega governor wa Bungoma governor wa Transoia wafunge hiyo maji wapanue hiyo river waweke cruise ship vile waarabu walifanya kutoka Swan mpaka kwenda huko mbele ambapo wana attract warabu wana attract 1 million tourists a month wakati sisi tuna struggle Kenya kupata tourists 1 million hiyo river peke yake uweke cruise ship funge maji uweke five star hotel juu yake pesa sitajaa katika eneo hili wananchi watapata kazi kwetu kule Bungoma iko jiwe moja inaitwa Crying Stone. Jiwe moja. Inaweza kuwa inafanya sisi watu wa Kakamega tunaweka 50 million shillings a month ama week kufunga hiyo jiwe, weka hoteli mzuri hapo. Ipatie advertisement the only crying stone in the world. 
watu wanakuja wanaona wanawacha pesa people make billions of money kwa mheshimiwa deputy president rigazi mount kenya weka cable car kama moja nimeona joman weka hotel juu ya mount cable car inapeleka tourist kula huko na kurudi chini billions of money your excellence angalia kutoka lamu kuja malindi kuja kilifi kuja mpaka kuingia mtu hapa ingia Mombasa mpaka south coast no cruise ship angalia the whole of lake victoria there is no cruise ship cruise ship ni ile meli watalii wanaingia wanaishi ndani wanakula ndani wajaliwa wanapiga nyatiti walio wanaimbo bwana uko kila kitu wanawacha mabilioni ya pesa haya angalia mambo ya miwa county governments kutoka kule south nyanza kule nje yote mpaka kericho mpaka kuja vihiga all those county governments na panda miwa mpaka nzohia governors wakae chini wa form one company and then they go to morisha a very small country ambayo ina depend on ken waulize na government president atawasaidia kama garanta kupata experts muache ubinafsi selfish one company from south nyanza migori mpaka huku yamiwa peke yake you build big things your excellency wakati mwingine president moi alisema he black skin is associated with poverty selfish <laughs> watu wakapiga makelele oh we were governed 70 years na british na mkoloni tutatoka namna gani simple simple things we can do to create economy for our own people we are not thinking about it you can talk a thousand times about mumiasa about zoya about sony these are obsolete industries watu wanataka ku think big let governors come together in your sugar conference form one company hata mnaweza kwenda back to bukatet garanta atakuwa president let them come back we have learned accept to get advice and accept some other people to assist you and you create wealth for our people in this region because president sasa watu waliyo mtafanya nini mimi ndio mtu wa kwanza kusema president William Ruto tukimchakua atabeba Central Bank kwa mgonga apeleke Sigoi. <laughs> Leo hii president William Samoei Ruto amempa walui ya Central Bank. Ninjo ndio buko nayo. Leo hii William Samoei Ruto amempatia kasi ya kukolekt revenue pesa zote za Kenya na kupeleka Central Bank. Walui ya Leo hii bima alinichagua juisi kwa panel ya kutafuta mtu wa kushtaki wa Korak. <laughs> Kumpelekea jina ameappoint huyo jamaa anatoka kijana mdogo anatoka huko Kakamega. Yeye ndiye amesimamia hiyo maneno. Sasa what are you going to go to him next time kusema we did not perform because this had to be in a position. Mtaenda kwake kwa nini? Start thinking big. Yeah? akikuja hapa muwe na karatasi ya kusema we want you to grant grant me to grant kama grant on this abcd as you people you know was very close to moi more than anybody in western kenya na nilikuwa introduced kwa president moi na baba ya msali ya mtabati na wakati nyumba za serikali zilipokuwa zinapeanwa akaniambia wewe unaweza angalia nyumba ya serikali huko kakamega bungoma tikupatie kama mwe your excellence i don't want that I want your support. Watu wajue wewe ni supporter yangu. Nitapata pesa yangu nitanunua plot yangu. This is all what you need from President William Samoei Ruto. That support from him as a grantor of another business. And let me tell you. Sisi waliya tumeamua your excellence. I know sisi tulikuweka kando. Ukatoka kando ukapita kwa sisi ambao tulikuwa na president. 2027 tena sisi tunaweza wewe namna gani 
So the only answer, mimi nataka kuambia watu wetu, mambo ya election ya 2027 huko tumetoka huko. Mambo ya maandamano, wacha niongee kidogo your excellence, ya uh, 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 speak of national assembly. Mambo ya maandamano ni ya watu hawana ofisi. Wale watu walikuwa kwa azimio wakina Dr. Toma, Francis Atoli, Governor wa Vihiga and the rest ambao walikuwa na ofisi wakati election ilikwisha tulirudi kwa ofisi. Wale wako kwa mambo ya maandamano kadonzo msioka hana ofisi. Mada Karua hana ofisi. Honorable Amali wa ndugu yetu hapa hana ofisi. Eh? Raila mwenyewe hana ofisi. Eh? Uh, Wila anaitwa Oparanya from my home has no office. So you are the one who are here to see no fee. While you are going to office, you are going to office for your case. Your Excellency, we support you. We are steadfast. But what I want also to add a little bit. So, 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 so. Kitu nataka kuongeza kidogo, Your Excellency. When you were in Geneva, you spoke about issues concerning this continent related to economic and financial fairness. Don't abandon that subject. It gave you a name internationally. Everywhere I go, they know your name now everywhere. Even in German, I was being asked about you. Stand up for the rights of this continent as you did. You are young, fight. People are there under international organizations such as those ones that we serve. We will continue supporting you. May God bless you. Maulila <laughs> katuli.